It will cost you up to 6,000 rent to test for the coronavirus at some private laboratories. While Discovery Health says it's ready to approve tests, it also says testing people with only flu symptoms for the coronavirus will put a strain on the healthcare system. The National Institute for Communicable Diseases does the test free of charge. The Department of Health has recently opened an emergency operations center to deal with possible cases in the country. If you've got mild symptoms and um, there is no requirement for any further treatment I mean, besides a supportive care, there may not be a need for you to, 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 to screen. But if you're screening for you know, reporting purposes for research, that is a different um, you know, indication for screening. So remember, these tests are not cheap. Like you mentioned, some people have paid 5,000, 6,000 rand for a single test. With any approach in healthcare, there must be you know, um, a judicious use of resources so that we don't overload the system and use the resources for patients who actually do not require the screening. But for the right patient who needs the screening, we should be allocating those resources appropriately. Many flights to and from China have been cancelled due to fear of the spread of the virus. Those who want to cancel their trips can claim from their travel insurance policy. Travelers have been advised to only travel to China if it is absolutely necessary and disclose all the relevant information to their insurance companies. Even if you have taken out your travel insurance policy, insurance companies still have the right to give notice and say that they won't be covering a certain incident or element of the cover that, uh, that you took out. They have to give you 31 days notice, but they can still do that. So if you have taken out your travel insurance policy last year, you have to go. Um, I would suggest that you immediately contact your insurance company to make sure that the cover is still in fact in place. The National Institute for Communicable Diseases has confirmed that everyone tested for the virus has tested negative. Now Lady Matlapeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.